Hey friends, fellow music lovers, Wes here checking in. Uh, it's Monday, start of a new week, and it's almost a week into October now, and I still have yet to do my monthly update for September, sort of wrapping up the month of the things I bought in September. So I wanted to go ahead and get that done today and get that posted. Uh, you can see a little preview here of my my haul from the Orlando record show that was yesterday that will be up the video for that will be up sometime this week hopefully we still need to talk about September here so let's just go ahead and get into it these first two are purchases I actually made at books a million uh, our books one of our we have, we have two books a millions here in Gainesville and one of them just recently started carrying vinyl so that was pretty cool and we have a discount card there so we get 10% off so I picked up a few things uh, the first thing I got was this reissue of Blue Cheers Vincibus Eruptum uh, I believe this was from 1968 I know a lot of people are probably familiar with Blue Cheer if not they're, they're sort of an early hard rock somewhat on the psych side somewhat almost early metal side uh, very garagey very very uh, rough rough sounding uh, just some really cool stuff on here though my favorite probably on here is Dr. Please uh, they do a remake remake of Summertime Blues which I think was their claim to fame as their remake to Summertime Blues but cool I'm glad I finally got to hear this and uh, definitely a nice piece and the second thing I got at Books A Million was uh, Tame Impala's Lonerism I believe this is from either Okay, it was last year. It was released late last year, I believe. Uh, Tame Impala is a modern psych, modern psych music. Uh, really cool. A lot of a lot of electronics and stuff used in this, and I really I really like the mix of the psych and the electronics and stuff. It's really really neat. I know a lot of people in the VC have been digging this a lot, so I wanted to hear it, and I'm glad I picked it up. All right, and this next piece is something I never thought I would be able to own. Uh, when when this was released, I just it was hundred dollars, I believe. Just didn't think I was going to be able to afford to buy this, but here it is. If you don't know what this is, this is the deluxe edition to Linkin Park's album A Thousand Suns, released in 2010, I believe, is when this was released. Let's just go ahead and open up this uh, box and see what we got here. First thing we have here is a lithograph of the uh, the original album artwork, and the next thing in the included in the box is this is the actual um, vinyl 2LP set itself. Really pretty, super glossy paper. Uh, it's a trifold here. I'll open this up. It's really, really cool looking, beautiful artwork, and this is also oh crap! <laughs> Everything wants to fall on us here. Like I said, 2LP set, pressed on, white vinyl, beautiful. Um, nice and quiet sounding. I think it's even uh, even better sounding than my black vinyl version of the album. But this is this is my favorite Linkin Park album of, of them all. Um, I know a lot, of the, a lot of the fans didn't care for this one, but I love this album. Um, and then you have a hardbound book. It comes with uh, a bunch of artwork and text and whatnot. Special edition for this, or a special piece for this special edition. Some of the, some of the other artwork used for and created for the album. So a really cool hardbound book there. Um, and then you get the uh, Meeting of a Thousand Suns documentary making of sort of thing DVD, and then the album itself on CD as well. Uh, so that's a really awesome uh, deluxe packaging. Like I said, I really couldn't afford this when it came out, but I was able to find this on eBay for $25 shipped. A uh, really beautiful piece, and I'm glad to uh, have this version of the album in my clip. Uh, and that was it for the the, the sort of new things in, in uh, September. I didn't really buy a lot of new, new albums. I do have a stack here of some stuff I picked up at a thrift store that I haven't shown yet. So I thought I'd just go ahead and show these uh, real quick. And I'll add on to this video. First, we've got a couple of 45s here. We have uh, Jenna Malone and her Bloodstains. Uh, just some small uh, uh, private press sort of 45 stuff. Pretty cool. I found these at the uh, at the hospice thrift store where they're selling everything two for a quarter now. So these are like 12 cents a piece. So I thought I'd grab these and just see what they were. They look, they look neat. I like the I like the sort of unique looking uh, handmade packaging and whatnot. Uh, next thing we have here is Dear Friends. Uh, I'm guessing this is this is some punk 
kind of music. It looks has that punk look to it. And next thing we got here is Capitalist Casualties. And then we have Savage Brutality. Definitely some punk music here based on the uh, the picture on the back. Uh, this one happens to be on marble, marble gray vinyl. So neat discovery. Just a cool, some cool things to uh, pick up and give a spin at some point. And the last 45 I got there was the, uh, the Union Gap, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap with Young Girl, back with Woman Woman. So let's go ahead and, all right, I got three albums here that I picked up at the Habitat for Humanity thrift store. They recently just organized all their media into sort of like a, a small music uh, music store section. Cool place to shop. Uh, so the first thing I got there was Lou Reed Rock and Roll Diary from 1967 to 1980. So this has, uh, the first disc is mostly all Velvet Underground stuff and then the second disc is Lou Reed solo stuff. Sort of just an anthology of stuff from 1967 to 1980. Two LP set on Columbia little bit about Lou Reed in there and uh, that was a nice pickup for two bucks. Uh, next thing I got there was Graham Nash, Earth and Sky. Because it's Graham Nash and I like Graham Nash and uh, the beautiful album artwork, I really I really love that dark sort of post rain where the sun's just trying to push through the clouds but it's still got some dark rain clouds in the area and you see there's a little bit of a rainbow going across here. He has a camera that he's, uh, I guess, photographing with, this little sort of a, a Lomo kind of camera, a real cheap camera. Uh, but just, yeah, cool artwork, and uh, I look forward to hearing that at some point, seeing if it's any good. Uh, and the last thing I got at the uh, Habitat thrift store, this is It's a Beautiful Day with Marrying Maiden. Um, and this is a Holland pressing on CBS. I'll go ahead and pull it out real quick. CBS Embassy and this was a dollar also. So a uh, couple of cool pickups from the Habitat resale store. Uh, this last stack are some 12 inches I got at the hospice uh, thrift store in September and these were as usual as I said two for a quarter or around 12 cents a piece. Uh, first thing I got here is another really clean copy of Harry Belafonte at Carnegie Hall. The album that got me into Harry Belafonte, and this is an, um, just a great live concert and a really good thing. If you if you own one Harry Belafonte album, make it this one. It's uh, easy to find, and it's a great concert and a wide range of, of music in there. So next up, a really cool find for twelve cents. I, I, absolutely, this is uh, John Mayall, "The Blues Alone," on London. Uh, since we have Halloween coming up, we got the chilling, thrilling sounds of of the haunted house from. Uh, Disneyland Records. Uh, next thing I found here, Elvis Presley, Girl Happy soundtrack. Not a uh, not an Elvis fan, but I'd like to hear 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 some of it. So, grab this and picked it up. We got Paul Simon, One Trick Pony. This is another uh, music soundtrack sort of thing. Music he wrote for the sound for the movie of the same title. Got a cop another copy of Ram, which I. Grab this because it looked really clean, and what I didn't notice is that there's some dog-eared stuff going on down here in the corner. I'm still looking for a nice clean copy of Ram. Uh, it's one of the ones you see a lot, but just not not always in nice condition. Uh, next thing we got here is the soundtrack to The Black Stallion. Definitely a movie I loved as a kid, and I thought I would uh, listen to the soundtrack at some point. And the last thing we got here is something I'm not even sure what it is. It's called The Great Unwashed Clean Out of Our Minds. Uh, looks almost like a modern sort of private press kind of thing, but it's actually from 1983 supposedly. Really interesting. I have no idea what this is. I haven't had a chance to even sample it yet. So yeah, that was, that's the wrap up of my September purchases. Uh, looking forward to October. The new Arcade Fire album comes out at the end of the month. I'm just dying to get, get a hold of that. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. If you like this video, please subscribe, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.